Leopard skin trunks and leotards were an extremely common sight among old school strongmen and bodybuilders. It was pretty much the go-to outfit for these guys throughout the bronze era, and was still a common sight even into the silver era of bodybuilding. So what was the deal with this leopard skin obsession? To answer this question, I read a book called Fierce, The History of Leopard Print by Joe Weldon. Essentially, leopards and other big cats have been associated with power for thousands of years. We all know the ancient Egyptians had a thing for cats. They built massive statues, worshipped them, and even wore their skin. In ancient Greece, Hercules was often depicted wearing the skin of a lion he killed. Also, we have leopard skin wearing Theseus slaying the Minotaur. The Hindu god Shiva is often depicted wearing tiger skin, symbolizing the victory of the divine force over animal instincts. There are examples from all across human history, but I think you guys get the picture. If a man wore the skin of a big cat, it often meant he was a mighty warrior or hunter. By wearing the skin, he would represent the ferocity and strength of the animal. In many societies, often only the person who killed the animal, usually at great risk to themselves, had the right to wear the fur. With the Industrial Revolution, and especially the development of synthetic fur materials, leopard print clothes became much more available. Since we know that early bodybuilders took inspiration from ancient Greek heroes, it's really no surprise that they would choose to accentuate their strength and power with these kinds of clothes. Though, it's also safe to say that strongmen and other circus performers had already caught on to this before bodybuilding was even a thing. So so early bodybuilders were likely just continuing on with that tradition. And it's not like you had to go out there and risk your life hunting a big cat. You could just buy some leopard trunks and cosplay as this mighty warrior. Almost all the old school greats that appear on my channel can be found wearing a leopard print at some point or another. Eugene Sandow, who was probably the most influential figure in early bodybuilding, frequently wore leopard skins. It certainly didn't start with him though. Even Sandow's own trainer, Professor Attila, was a big fan of the feline style. If we take a closer look at the photos from Sandow's great competition, the world's first bodybuilding contest, we can see all the participants were wearing some kind of leopard print. Of course, there are countless examples throughout the Bronze Era, even a couple of strong women like Minerva and Sandwina. As we get into the Silver Era, we can still find photos of Charles Atlas, Bert Goodrich, Alan Stefan, Armand Tani, and others wearing the leopard print, though it became increasingly rare from the 1950s onwards, with only a couple holdouts like Vince Gironda and Chuck Sipes. Coincidentally, this is also around the time when leopard prints became much more prevalent in mainstream women's fashion. So perhaps the association with femininity is what led to the decline among bodybuilders. Anyway, if you enjoyed these explorations into the world of old school bodybuilding, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and check out my playlist in the description for more videos just like this.